Well, hello, geothermal enthusiast. My name is Anthony Rice, and I just got through installing a pond loop. I spent about $4,000, including the kit that I purchased from Ingrams. And this video is an overview of all the steps that it took from start to finish. This is my pond, and it's just under an acre. This is the kit I ordered from Ingrams, and it services a four-ton unit. I rented a trencher for $190. It took me four hours. And you want to go a depth of at least two feet. And you'll end up getting two lines out to your pond. One is for your return and one is for your supply. And they should be spaced approximately six feet apart. It is recommended that you use an inch and a quarter PVC pipe. And what I did is I laid everything out and glued it together and set it on top of my trenches before I actually removed the supports and let it inside the trench. And that way I knew everything fit. I ran both sets of pipes up to the location of the pump. My geothermal unit is actually up in the attic, so I needed to run piping and also conduit up to the unit. And make sure you insulate your pipes. I purchased these irrigation valve boxes at Home Depot for $20 a piece, and I went ahead and installed them before I actually connected my loops. After I backfilled my trenches, I was then ready to begin the construction of my slinky. The four ton kit comes with four reams of 600 feet of pipe. I spaced them about three feet in diameter apart. And once I finished my slinky construction, I then started to work on the frame, which was constructed out of two inch PVC pipe. Make sure you drill holes in your two inch frame, otherwise it won't sink. I purchased on Amazon three different sizes of zip ties, a three foot, a two foot, and a 14 inch. I purchased 200 of the 14 inch, 50 of the two foot, and 50 of the three foot. I also purchased a 500 foot roll of number 14 insulated copper wire and I used that as a backup in case the zip ties failed. Now I was ready to put the slinky out into the pond and get it in position where it needed to be sunk. This is what my pond looked like when it was under construction so I knew approximately where I wanted to sink my slinky. I was then ready to connect my lines to my valve boxes. After doing some research, you will need one concrete block for every 300 feet of pipe. So my frame required 16 concrete blocks. Now it is time to sink the Titanic. You will need two five gallon buckets of glycol mixed with water. And then you start the pump. And it took approximately five minutes once the water hit my slinky for it to sink completely. I had four friends stand at each corner to hold it in place while it was sinking. And it went pretty smooth. I was a little apprehensive since I had never seen this done before, but uh, didn't have any hangups. So if you are a do-it-yourselfer like me and are considering installing a pond loop, Feel free to email me at anthonyrice1234 at gmail.com.